there's two types of local therapy available, surgery and radiation. Um, is there a role for radiation therapy? And I will argue the fact that, yes, more and more we're finding that there's a role, not necessarily for splenic masses, but for intramuscular masses or subcutaneous masses. And what I will tell you is hemangiosarcoma can actually be extremely responsive to radiation therapy. Um, it can be used in a palliative sense to relieve bone pain um, for those metastatic bone lytic lesions. It can be used to control any superficial bleeding where you'll get those ulcerated, ugly masses, and I'll show you a picture in a minute of one of those. And then I've also used it as curative intent. Every now and then we'll get those low-grade cutaneous or um, hemangiosarcomas, dermal um, hemangiosarcomas that are low-grade that can't be excised due to location. Um, and I've actually seen it be highly effective, the full-dose uh, radiation therapy can be extremely effective at controlling those. Again, in a low-grade setting where the hemangiosarcoma is termed low-grade, i.e. having a low metastatic potential, local disease could, again, be curative intent. And first of all, the, the big cutaneous, this is, this is a German Shepherd dog, obviously, with a large uh, ulcerated dermal hemangiosarcoma over the shoulder region. Um, I will tell you that these can respond very well to three to four large doses of radiation. Um, in one study, uh, Kim Hillers actually did this at Colorado State several years ago, looked at 20 dogs. Um, of those 20 dogs that got this kind of palliative protocol, 14 of them responded and four of them went completely away. And um, I since have used it in several cases where I've had large intramuscular hemangiosarcomas that were causing rear limb edema and could not be resected without, without doing uh, radical hemipelvectomies and such, and the owners just wanted palliative care and actually gotten these to go back down to normal. So, um, and had a couple that were on the limbs and such that actually responded with a complete response as well. So I think these can be extremely responsive to radiation therapy. And, and uh, so I tell you, don't forget that when you see these large masses, if we can help these patients, even to improve just quality of life and stop bleeding. This particular patient um, actually if you look at this guy, um, at this picture on your left, this actually was a, a hemangiosarcoma that was located right there on the foot pad and had been resected probably three, four times over a year and a half, almost two year period. And this actually, this picture on the left is at the end of radiation therapy, um, getting some pretty profound radiation side effects. This is actually about a month after radiation therapy and we still didn't have a recurrence um, this patient actually, um, I was rechecking it four years post-operatively and post-radiation therapy and still had control, local tr control. So again, a low-grade one, I wouldn't put it out of the books as far as treatment. I will tell you this treatment was 18 days or three and a half weeks, but um, this dog was getting surgeries every month and a half by the time I saw it. It was recurring that rapidly, um, but again, very low-grade. And I will also tell you that I had two pathologists review the histopath before I did this radiation just to make sure that it truly was low grade and it might be something where we could benefit. Um, 